This is tutorial 6-3 on page 226. I still have tutorial 6-2 open and what we want to do is we want to open up um, from uh, maps tutorial 6-3 open that up and then immediately we're going to save it to our exercises folder for chapter 6 and there we go and we're going to make this look a little more like the one in the book by zooming in a little bit here there we go and we want to examine the dissolve attribute in the table of contents right click fire companies and click open attribute table so we're going to take a look at the data that's behind each one of these fire companies and you see this is a company number this is a battalion number this is a division number and let's try doing a little sorting here I'll sort of sending and then I'll sort of sending on this one and then I'll sort of sending on this one and you'll see that um, Every company has a unique number, but it appears that the companies are divided up into battalions. This is the battalion. Let's do a sort again here, just on that one. And so all of these ones are in um, battalion one, and uh, these are battalion two. And apparently those two make up fire division number one. Oh, there's some more stuff for division number one here, four. And so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try and, and uh, remove the fire company uh, number. Uh, borders and group them together into based on uh, the battalion number. Okay, so let's close that. And now we're on page 227. It says dissolve the fire battalions, and we want to go to geoprocessing and we want to click dissolve. And in the dissolve window, select fire companies as the input features. And the output class feature is going to be um, fire battalions. And whoops, wrong place. I got to put it in the right uh, location as well. We got to go to chapter six here and chapter six dot gdb, and the name is going to be fire battalions. Okay, so that looks good. And uh, this is what we're going to use. And um, for our statistics field, which it says is optional, we want uh, population 2010. And then down here, we want to tell it that we want to sum that. So what it's going to do is uh, it's going to tell us the population in each one of these battalions. Okay, verify your selections uh, with the image on page 227 or with my screen right here. And click on OK. And we should be seeing all of these little polygons here that represent individual fire companies. Um, they should dissolve. There we go. And now each one of those represents a, a battalion. And let me see. We want to do that with a hollow fill. Hello. And we want ultra blue outline with a width of 1.5. So ultra blue. Let's see. How about that one? Cretan blue. Ultra blue. And the width is 1.15. And I just screwed that up. The fill color is supposed to be no color. And this is supposed to be ultra blue. The outline, 1.15. OK, now I can click on OK. And there we go. And that should look like uh, what's on the top of page 228. 
Zoom to Lower Manhattan and use the Identify Tool button to view the attribute information for Battalion Number 4 in the Lower East Side neighborhood. Okay, so this is Manhattan uh, from here down along the East River and down to here and this must be the Lower East Side and let's get some information about that and this is uh, number four and it's four four and population is fifteen hundred fifty two thousand and two and uh, shape area should be the same these aren't in the same length uh, for some reason but looks like these are in alphabetical order uh, but all the data is the same okay and that brings us to the end of 6-3 and you should do the your turn one at the bottom of page 228 before going on to 6-4